Hi guys, my name's Lewis and I'm the head instructor at T2 Boot Camps and welcome to the Low Fat Naughty series. Now when most of us crave naughty food it's because we've had a tough week at work or the kids might have been a nightmare or we could have been doing really well on our diet but we've just had enough of eating the same old food and we want something that's going to take our mind off it. So when we talk about naughty foods such as your pizza and your cheeseburger and chips these have got a lot of calories and a lot of saturated fat now the saturated fat is what clogs up our arteries and can lead to heart attacks and strokes. So in today's episode, episode one, we're going to be looking at my low fat version of the cheeseburger and chips. So for meat, in your regular cheeseburger, it's usually mince. Now beef mince has a lot of calories and a lot of fat. So in my low fat recipe, we're going to be using a lean turkey breast mince. Now this has got half the calories of your regular um, beef mince and nearly half the amount of saturated fat. Now we want the lean breast mince because Tesco also do just your regular turkey mince but that's also got the meat from the thigh and the leg which has a lot more fat than the breast so we're just going to stick with the breast mince for today. For our bread we're going to be using wholemeal roll or wholemeal balm which is much better than your regular white balm. For cheese we're going to be using one slice of Weight Watchers reduced fat cheese. Now this is less than 11% fat, a lot less calories than your regular cheddar cheese. For our chips, we're going to be using a sweet potato. Now sweet potato is much better than your, than your regular white potato and it tastes, in my opinion, even nicer. We're going to be using a tomato, one egg which is going to bind our mince together but we're just going to be using the egg white because the egg yolk has a lot of calories and also a lot of saturated fat. And we're also going to be using just some herbs and spices just to give the burger a little bit more flavour and to make it taste nicer. So let's move on to making our burger first. Okay guys, so to make the burger, it's really simple. All we're going to do is put 100 grams of the lean turkey breast mince into a bowl. Now you can either measure out 100 grams or there's 500 grams in this pack so just take a fifth out so that goes into a bowl and then we're just going to use the egg which is going to bind the mince together but we're just going to be using the egg white now the reason we're only going to use the egg white is the yolk contains most of the calories and all of the saturated fat now in an egg there's usually about 90 calories and in the egg white there is only 16. So you're cutting out 94 calories just by taking the yolk out. It's a great way to save calories and reduce the saturated fat. And then once you put the egg in, I'm just going to be using some seasonal herbs and spices. So this is just going to improve the flavour of the burger. Now if you like spicy food you could also put chilli powder in there, paprika, you know, garlic, anything you like really that's just going to improve the taste of the burger. So that goes into there. And all you're going to do is just knead the herbs into the meat and then it gets a little bit messy because we're then just going to shape the burger with our hands, which is fun as well, and just get in there. Okay guys, so once you've shaped your, your burger just into your regular pate, it should look something like this. And then all we're going to do is that's just going to go under the grill for about 15 minutes until it's cooked all the way through. So now we'll move on to making our sweet potato chips. Okay guys, so the next step is to make our sweet potato wedges. So all I've done is taken a sweet potato, cut them into wedges, which your regular size. And all you're going to do is put them on some tin foil. So depending on how many of it is going to be eating them, now you don't need a full sweet potato, it's just for one person. But if you're cooking for a family or your partner, then you can use a full potato. Now a sweet potato is much better than your regular jacket potato for making fries with. I'm going to say in my opinion, it tastes, tastes just as nice or if not nicer. So they go onto an oven tray with some tin foil. Then all you're going to do is take some fry light one calorie uh, frying spray. Now this is going to improve the taste 
because it's going to make them you know, crispy and nice to eat. But it's only one calorie spray. So you know, when most people cook chips, they fry them in fat, which is, again, really bad for us because it's full of calories and the fat's going to improve, uh, increase our cholesterol levels and also you know, clog our arteries, lead to heart attacks. So just a couple of sprays. There you go. Eight to nine sprays. And then they're going to go in the oven for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, turn them over, a couple more sprays of fry light, back in the oven for an extra 10 minutes, and then they're ready to serve. Okay guys, so the potato wedges have been in the oven for about 10 minutes and I've just turned them over. Now all we're going to do is add a few more sprays of the one calorie fry light spray, which again, just going to crisp them up. And I've also got some perfect shape, uh, perfect shake chip uh, flavouring. So this is dried garlic, dried onion, salt, pepper, a little bit of paprika. And I'm just going to put a couple of sprinkles of that onto the wedges and that's really going to improve the taste and just give the recipe a little bit more flavour. So once you've done that, back in the oven, another 10 minutes, good to go. Okay, so the turkey burgers are done. Hopefully yours will look as good as mine do. They smell good as well, so... First off, let's just cut the tomato. Now, if you don't like tomato, you know, you can use lettuce, radish, anything really. Cucumber. So, a couple of slices. There you go. Put that on there. One turkey burger. Now each burger, 100 grams of lean turkey breast mince is around 155 calories, so that goes onto there. Weight Watchers reduced fat cheese, so only 43 calories per piece. So that goes, let's put that on there. Now the wedges should be done. So let's just take them out of the oven. Smell good. Paste that on there. So as you say, depending on how many people you've cooked for, don't go over the top. There we go. Now you can even use some reduced salt, reduced sugar, tomato ketchup. So there you go, guys. There's my healthy alternative to the cheeseburger and chips. Thanks for watching.